welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video and Rue just want to say hi. Say hi. Doing my first ever Halloween video and I'm super excited. I worked really hard on this video because Halloween is like thebomb.com and I freaking love dressing up for Halloween so I'm super excited to show you these costumes. I put together four Halloween costumes for you all and they're all super cute and they're very cheap to make. For most of these costumes I actually had a lot of the things in my closet already so I had to go out and buy just a few things from Walmart. This is also a collab video with my friend here on YouTube. Her name is Isabella and her channel is amazing. I'll have it right here. She is seriously the most genuine person ever. I freaking love her videos, so you definitely need to go check them out and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Tori, welcome. I put out new videos every single week and I hope you subscribe so you can see more of this face. I know that was like super cheesy, but definitely subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. And I think that's it, so let's get started. Alrighty guys, we're gonna be starting off with the easiest one out of all four. So what I did was I went to Walmart and I just picked up this white felt, I think it was like 23 cents, and then I also bought a blue shirt and it was really cheap, it was like $6. And then I went online and I printed out the logo so then I could trace it onto my white felt. After I traced it, I just cut it out and then I hot glued it onto my shirt and you're done. This one is by far the easiest, so if it's like last minute and you don't have a Halloween costume, I would just do this and you can even do it with like Instagram or Facebook, whatever you'd prefer. I think it would be super cute if you were at a Halloween party or going trick or treating to carry you around your phone and tweet all night, but you don't have to actually tweet, you can just pretend you're tweeting and you can even be like, hashtag long hair don't care, hashtag sorry not sorry. Alrighty, so it's time to make the strawberry costume and I actually saw this on Pinterest and I thought it was super cute so I wanted to recreate it. But right now I'm just wrapping these fake leaves that I got from Walmart and I also got the headband from Walmart. You're just going to wrap them around so it's like the stem of the strawberry. Next you're going to want to make the seeds. So right now I'm just taking some white felt again and then cutting out little seed shapes. And I chose to do white felt because the picture on Pinterest actually had white felt and I thought that would look cuter than black seeds so I just decided to do white. So you're just going to cut out as many as you think you'll need. And after you're done cutting those seeds out, go ahead and place them on your dress or your shirt or whatever you're using and just see where you want to go ahead and place those. And I used double sided tape because I wasn't about to ruin this dress so double sided tape worked really well but if you want to make it more permanent I recommend using a hot glue gun instead. And after that, you are all done. I think this one turned out really cute and super girly, but for some reason on camera, this dress is kind of coming out pink, but it's actually a red dress, I promise. Alrighty, time for the robber costume. And honestly, I only had to go out and buy this one piece of felt and everything else I had in my closet or in my craft drawer, so this one was super cheap. Alrighty, so the first thing I did was make the mask. And I just went online and printed off a mask so I can use it as kind of like a guide. Once you're all done cutting it out, you're just going to lay it down and then put your ribbon on there and then hot glue that so you can actually tie it around your head. Alrighty, to make the money bag that the robber or burglar usually carries around, I just took an old pillowcase and then I just drew the dollar sign and I filled it in with Sharpie. I didn't go out and buy paint or anything, I just used an old pillowcase and a Sharpie that I had laying around my house. And I really like this idea because this money bag also doubles as a trick-or-treat bag so you can put all your candy in there when you're trick-or-treating. I actually got this idea off Pinterest also and I took a rubber ducky that I bought from Walmart and then I got a headband and I hot glued those together and I do recommend finding a smaller rubber ducky because this one was very heavy on the headband. Out of all four of the costumes, I would have to say this one is the most time consuming but it's super cute. So you're going to have to blow up a whole bunch of white balloons and then you're going to have to tape them onto your body and I just wore a white dress and I had my brother and boyfriend help me tape these on and it doesn't stay very well so if you're using like an old white t-shirt, I would recommend them hot gluing them on instead of using double sided tape. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to my channel. I have a little thingy right here so you can go click that button and hit subscribe so you can see more of me. 
Let me know in the comments below which Halloween costume is your favorite and then also tell me what you are going to be for Halloween. I think this year my boyfriend and I are actually going to be doing like a couple's Halloween costume so you will have to follow me on my social media. I'll have it linked right here so you can see what we actually ended up doing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!